At the time of uh, the formation of BBWA, I think we were talking about 14 years or 15 years into, into our democracy and, and that uh, the lives of black women in business had not changed a lot. Um, at, at the time, one of the, it was out of the different experiences that we experience. You know, in South Africa, even today, it's not easy for a black person to access funding, especially from the banks. And, 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 and this, and looking at women, women are, you know, are the best payers of debt. If you give money to a woman, woman is going to pay back because women do not want to lose the little that they have, you know, acquired. And, 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 and women, many, you know, homes, especially in the African communities, and um, even in the white communities these days, you'll find that uh, a mother, a woman, is a, is a leader of the household. Um, she's bringing up the children all by herself. And sometimes we'll ask, people will ask, how do you survive juggling between the job, the business, and still being able to, to, to bring up the children and be able to be still at home to do, assist the kids to do the homework? That's, that's a role of a woman, that's a role of a mother. And, and we felt that there is a need of establishing uh, this black, and, and, and somebody asked why black? And I said black because the majority of people in this country are black. And the majority of the women that I'm referring to are black. But uh, even if you are white, if you subscribe to the founding principles of, the, of, of Black Business Women's Association, you can be an associate member. It's not to say that we are, we are saying people cannot join. <laughs>